Have you ever wondered how much information can be gathered about someone, even if their Instagram profile is set to private? What if I told you that with a few tools and a little bit of OSINT, that's open source intelligence, you could uncover a surprising amount of details without even following the person. Today, I'll show you step-by-step -step how hackers, detectives, and cybersecurity experts gather information from private Instagram accounts using only publicly available data. This is 100% legal and ethical when used for awareness, investigations, or digital hygiene, but must never be used with malicious intent. Let's start. The first thing we collect is basic metadata from the profile. The username, bio, follower count, and the profile picture. Even private profiles expose this. Using sites like insta-dp.io or fullinstadp.com, we can download their profile photo in high quality. This image becomes the starting point of our investigation. Next, we do a reverse image search. Crop just the face and upload it to Google Images, Yandex.com, or even facial recognition tools like PimEyes. If this person uses the same photo elsewhere, on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, we'll find it. Yandex is especially good at matching aesthetic and location-based similarities. Now comes the username scan. Many people reuse the same handle across platforms. We plug the Instagram username into tools like whatsmyname.app, namechk.com, and usersearch.org. These tools will scan dozens of platforms, from Reddit and Pinterest to Twitch and even GitHub, to find matching profiles. One username can lead to an entire digital footprint. To take it deeper, we use Google dorking advanced search queries. We type things like site, Instagram.com in text, username or username file type, PDF or full name site, LinkedIn.com. These dorks can reveal old resumes, court documents, school records, and other hidden but public data. Let's say we find an email or full name. Now we move into data breach checks. We plug the email into emailrep.io or haveibeenpawn.com to see if it was leaked in a data breach. Using hunter.io, we can even see which websites or services the email is associated with. From here, we dive into people search engines. Sites like socialcatfish.com, thatsthem.com, and pkou.com let you input a name, username, or email and get back possible phone numbers, locations, and even relatives. This is where it starts to get real. If we ever get hold of an image or file posted by this person, maybe found through mutual accounts or previous public posts, we extract metadata. Using exif.tools or metapycz.com, we can sometimes see GPS location, device details, or timestamps. Combine this with hints in their bio, like a city name or emojis, and we start building a location profile. Want to automate this? Use Sherlock to scan usernames across social media. Photon to crawl profile links. Ghunt to investigate Gmail accounts. Skip Tracer for CLI-based people searches. These are open source tools used by real investigators and awesome professionals. Telegram bots can also be helpful. Try a user infobot to get Instagram IDs, at mailspilot underscore bot to check leaked emails, or at telesent underscore bot for fast username scans. These work anonymously and are super effective. Let's recap. From a private Instagram profile, we can find alternate accounts, leaked emails, potential addresses, real names, and more, just through OSINT. This is the same toolkit used by ethical hackers and digital detectives. It's powerful, legal when used responsibly, and incredibly eye-opening. This is why you should never underestimate how much of your life is exposed online, even if your profile is private. If you found this useful, stay tuned for part two where we'll go even deeper using facial AI, leaked databases, and dark web lookups. Stay aware, stay safe, and remember, in the world of OSINT, everything leaves a trace.